tattoo people in tattoo land. Well, every week we put together this video showing you what we did for the week and what we think was fun and you'd have fun to look at. And then we cobble them all together so you can enjoy them and kind of see them as they, as they come out and one fail swoop. Here they are. I hope you enjoy them. It took hours for us to create these. Um, it take, I don't know if anybody knows this, but it takes about three and a half hours off of a tattooer's life to do one hour of tattooing. So it's really, it's really a big commitment. And I don't think people really give it enough weight. So as you watch the, this video and you see all these tattoos, know that this is draining the artist's lifeblood. It's kind of like, the, like dog years. Exactly. So, uh, you know, feels very, very, very bad for us. It's very, very, very difficult for us to produce these things, and it, it sucks our life force from us, but we do it because we love it. And none of that was real. But hey, uh, we did these things. Uh, look at them, and if you enjoy them, let other people know that you enjoyed them, and then hopefully they can enjoy them too, and then you're spreading joy, see? And there's nothing that feels more incredible than spreading joy. So here's your opportunity. Enjoy. And when you're done, you know, you get all the <laughs> done and the <laughs> you know, after you're, you're done, you're sitting there relaxing and you're lighting your cigarette. You know, like it. And then, and, and, and then follow. So the next time, we'll be there for you and give you another excuse to smoke another one of those delicious cigarettes after you've released your joy. Enjoy. Hey there, tattoo fans. It's that time once again for Tattoo of the Week. I'm working on a lot of big stuff, so I thought I'd give you a sneak peek on one of the pieces I've been working on a little bit. Uh, you can kind of get a glimpse of the stuff we've done around the edge, uh, but um, we added those f uh, four flowers and then uh, ran uh, the black kind of tribal looking vegetation stuff behind it. Uh, I freehanded it all, just drew it on with the pen and um, rocking and rolling. She's got a little bit of room there left uh, on her lower arm, and the uh, it continues up to uh, her upper arm too, I believe. Anyway, yeah, uh, I hope you liked looking at it. Um, let's see, what else do I have to talk about? Well, get your butts in here, uh, get an appointment. I'm booked through April and starting to book up May pretty good, so if you're looking to get in here in the springtime, now is the chance. Uh, go to our website, and we've got a cool little form to fill out uh, that kind of asks you the questions that we need to know to get the ball rolling. So if you've been thinking about a tattoo or you want to come in just for a consult to talk about an idea that you have, uh, go there. Fill out the uh, form, send it, and we will get back to you same day most times if we're here. And uh, we'll get the ball rolling for you. So we'll uh, see you next week. Hi, tattoo fans. Uh, it's Tattoo of the Week time, and I've got one for you. It's really cool. It's a wolf with a headdress on a guy's side, and he's a really tough son of a bitch. He sat for like six hours the first time, and we just finished it up the other day, and I'm really stoked with it. Um, I hope you like it. I drew it up uh, from his idea and, and stuck it on him. And he dug it, and I dug it, and I hope you dig it. And it's gardening time, so get outside and dig in the garden. I uh, hope you're all having a great week, and I'll see you next time. Hey, crazy tattoo fans. It's that time of the week once again for Tattoo of the Week. I've got one for you. It's a kind of an add-on. Uh, a guy came in. He had some existing uh, stuff on his arm, the lettering, and uh, the bigger skull in the middle of his inner arm was there. And he just wanted to fill it in uh, with some skulls and some smoky goodness. So that's what we did. Uh, it was just freehand. I just sat him down and took the pen and just uh, kind of loosely penned him on there and then went to town. Uh, I think it took me, I think maybe four hours, three or four, can't remember exactly. But yeah, a lot of fun. Um, he sat great, it was a lot of fun to work with. And um, yeah, it was just a, a fun, neat one to do and it uh, finished off his lower sleeve, so that was uh, exciting for him as well. 
Uh, things around the shop are going great. I'm booking pretty solid into June now. So if you're wanting to get in sometime this summer, now's the time to book. Uh, remember, just email your ideas uh, to Skin Kitchen uh, at shop at skinkitchen.com. If you go to our uh, website, there's a form there and it'll ask you everything we need to know and it gets the process moving along really well. So uh, if you uh, are just curious about maybe, uh, you know, how, it, how things work or you have a an idea that you just want to run by us, uh, let us know. Give us a call. We can always set you up a consult, talk to you, maybe uh, feed your brain a little bit to help you down the road of figuring out exactly what you want to do. So uh, with that being said, I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the sunny weather and um, get out there, have some fun, and I'll see you next week. Hello, tattoo fans. It's that time of the week again for Tattoo of the Week. I happen to have one for you. It is a kitty cat. It's a kitty cat who's getting struck by lightning. I don't know why. Um, it's probably some sort of penance for something he had done, you know, previously. God's wrath. I don't know. But uh, it was fun to tattoo. Um, it took about four hours. Um, it was the gentleman's first tattoo. Um, went really well. Nice and smooth. Um, let's see. What else can I say about it? There is going to be more uh, underneath what we got there. There's going to be another piece to it. So uh, it's kind of done, not done, I guess. But uh, it's done enough to where it looks done if someone doesn't know it's not done. Anyway, I've uh, been having a lot of fun this year. Tad a ruin like crazy. So if you want to get in on that, uh, let us know and email us. Go to the website. Uh, there's a form to fill out. Tells you what uh, what we need to know and then zips it over to us. And then we create something awesome and then put it on you and then you're happier. That's pretty great. So uh, anyway, uh, check out the website. Uh, check out our YouTube channel. We've got tons of content up there and, and we have that on our website as well. So all kinds of stuff about piercing, what hurts, what doesn't, why does it hurt, why does it bleed, why does it get weird, um, and a bunch of tattoo content. We have our... Um, our uh, Q&A in the kitchen. Uh, we've got an episode up now with Sherry Sears uh, from uh, Creative Images. Uh, so if you don't know who she is, go watch it. If you know who she is, you're probably already watching it. So anyway, um, we'll see you next week. Hope you enjoy the tattoos and be nice to everybody. Most everybody. All right, bye. Hello, tattoo fans. It's that time once again for Tattoo of the Week. And boy, do I have one for you. It's big. It's real big. But no, it's a back piece. Uh, finally finished it up. I started it last year. Um, I can't, I don't remember exactly when I started it last year, but um, yeah, did some of it stenciled on, did some of it freehand, a lot of the top and the castle-y thing was freehanded along with the kind of army running down from the, the castle um, and stuff like that. So uh, I wish I knew how many settings it was. I bet he does. <laughs> uh, it was probably six maybe? or five settings around eight hours a piece so yeah there was some time involved um he sits like a rock made it real easy for me so uh yeah a lot of fun threw just a little splash of color in there uh, to pull out that templar cross and uh, i was really happy with it came out nice i had tons of fun with it as i uh, always do and uh he digs it so uh, if you like it and you want to get something equally or even more cool, let us know. Uh, shop at skinkitchen.com is our email, or you can go to our website and fill out our tattoo request form. Ask you everything we need to know about what you want, and it helps get the ball rolling and helps us get into your head so we can give you what, you're, uh, what you want. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, there is... Um, relatively new q a in the kitchen if you haven't gone to our uh, youtube channel tattoos and piercing or just type in skin kitchen tattoo into the search on youtube and you'll find our channel and there's tons of uh just tons of content on there uh answering questions about where does it hurt worst uh, how long does it take to heal what should i do beforehand all that fun stuff as long as uh, a bunch of content involving piercings um a lot of the same stuff you know does it hurt how long does it take to heal what should i do if just a bunch of stuff, you know, probably hours of content on there. So a lot of fun to look through. Um, we have the Q&As as a podcast as well. So if you're busy, you're running around, but you want to hear us uh, yapping about tattoos and how it relates to uh, the customer side of things, 
Um, look for that Q&A in the kitchen. Uh, you can find it pretty much on any place where you find uh, where you find podcasts. So check that out. It's a it's a it's a fun listen. We have a lot of fun and give you a lot of really good info. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys had a great week and have a great weekend. And we will see. You hey, tattoo fanatics! It's Jack coming at you for another tattoo of the week. This one's uh, pretty fun and pretty wacky. It's uh, Marvin the Martian. Uh, yeah, pretty wacky. Um, clock up top and some kind of, I guess, bio mixed with some, uh, what would you call that? Um, some stuff. Steampunk. That's it. Yeah, kind of a steampunk feel to it. Um, uh, just did this in one setting. I think it took around four, maybe five hours, something like that. Um, yeah, the Marvin the Martian is a call out to, uh, I think his father is a Marvin the Martian fan or something like that. So, yeah, uh, he wanted to sneak that in there, and, uh, we put a little bit of color in the eyes on each of the skulls just for fun. And, uh, it was a really neat, fun, different piece to do, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, I hope you have fun looking at it, and, um, come and get tattooed here, because that's what we do, and if you don't, then we don't do it. So, come and let us do some on you. It'd be awesome. Uh, I'm booking um, into mid-late June now, so I'm not too far booked. I'm staying on top of things pretty good. So um, if you're wanting to get in, let us know. Email us at shop at skinkitchen.com, and we'll see you next time. What's up, tattoo fans? I got a uh, tattoo for the week for you. It, uh, excuse my voice, I've got the summertime crud, uh, as a lot of you may have as well. But, um, feeling good, just sounding weird. So, on to the, uh, with the show. Uh, it, it's a snake, and it's on his foot. Uh, but it's not a real snake, so he's in no danger. Uh, you know, as long as he takes proper care of it. Anyways, um, took one session, I think it took right at about four hours. Um, I stenciled, uh, the kind of the head and the banner part on... Yeah, and then I freehanded the rest of the snake going up um, and uh, freehanded the, the scalage and stuff going up there. Um, yeah, uh, threw in some white to kind of pop things up and make it look a little more dynamic um, and stuff. So anyways, I uh, had fun with it. It was a good time. Um, it was uh, an idea that uh, the customer had and he just really liked that horn viper, it's called. Um, that's why it's got those horns on there. That's like an actual snake. Who knew? Uh, well, a lot of people did, but some people didn't. It's a real snake. Legit. So, anywho, um, things are going great. Uh, tattooing, having fun. Jimmy's here until Monday, uh, taking walk-ins and stuff, having fun. So, come in and say hi to him. Uh, poke around and maybe get a tattoo. That'd be nuts. So anyway, I hope everyone's enjoying the spotty but sometimes beautiful weather we're getting, and we will see you next week. Hello there, tattoo fans. It's that time of the week where we show you a tattoo that we had done previously. We call it Tattoo of the Week. I don't know. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a pretty good name. Anyway, um... This week I got something for you a little bit different than usual. I ended up getting a new uh, tattoo machine that I was wanting to test out. So I talked to Wesley and said, hey, pick something. I want a tattoo. So uh, he grabbed a, uh, an illustration out of an old How to Tattoo book that's got some really uh, now funny illustrations and things that were done back in the day that aren't done now. And uh, yeah, just thought it would be kind of a neat little callback. And uh, this is uh, an illustration out of the book about how to properly clean your needles. Uh, again, we don't do that anymore. Uh, we use disposable uh, cartridge system now that's unlike what is being shown in the picture, but that was kind of the fun part. Um, just kind of a little tattoo for fun of uh, the bygone era of tattooing. So I hope you like looking at it. Um, it's, uh, it's on his ankle, not super big, maybe uh, about a beer coaster size, but um, had a lot of fun. Took maybe an hour, uh, a little less, and uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, it was a good, good little, uh, good little jammer to do. So anyway, hope you liked looking at it, and uh, we'll see you next week, if not sooner. Bye. All right, you. Still, wait a minute, my, you can't see my head. It's too. That's too low. Here, let's try this. Uh, don't break Davo's shit. 
Uh-huh. Oh, god damn. I look good. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Pow. Okay, uh, welcome to Skin Kitchen's Tattoo of the Week. My Tattoo of the Week this week is a tattoo. But you knew that. It's an angel. It's like an archangel. He's really pissed off. Uh, well, we think he is. Uh, you can't see his face. It's all blacked out, so it's left to the imagination. Ooh, right? Um, anyway, it's not quite done. Uh, I still have some work on the other wing to do. Um, guy sat really well. All black and gray, obviously. It was uh, kind of a redraw of a design he brought in, and we kind of changed some things up. Uh, we put that symbol kind of on his hip, on that piece of... Uh, little tapestry thing kind of coming off. But anyway, um, a lot of fun. Not a ton to say about it other than we probably got a couple hours left on it to finish it up. And um, I just had a, a great time with it. I thought it came out uh, pretty pretty neat. So I uh, hope you liked looking at it. Uh, if you want to get in and get something cool, uh, or even not cool, you know, I mean, we'll do a not cool tattoo if that's what you want. But, uh, you know, eh. We'd rather do a cool one. But anyway, uh, let us know. Shop at skinkitchen.com is our email. That gets the ball rolling. Um, or you can always call. You can always stop in. Um, we, we've had a recent comment that um, some people get uh, frustrated uh, with, uh, with how you get the ball rolling and, and, and get in here to get your tattoo. Um, it's very rare, but uh, the reason we have this process is so we can do the best tattoo on you we can. Uh, our first order of business is to give you the best tattoo we can. Second order of business is to do it in a timely fashion. So uh, it's set up so we can get all the details we need to cut down the frustration on our side and your side and so we can give you exactly the tattoo you're after. Uh, and and uh, remember, if you have any, if you have any kind of issues uh, sending uh, a picture or whatever, if you don't have the proper uh, cell phone or it's older and it doesn't jive with that, stop in. Um, bring what you got. Uh, just come in, stop in, talk to us. If an artist doesn't have time at that point we can always set you up for a consult later you can come in talk to them um, I think people uh, maybe think that that's the only way you can get the ball rolling is through the email but it's not uh, you can give us a call on the phone 255-4430 um, or email stop in uh, however you like but um, yeah uh, don't be shy uh, we will help you out in any way we can and we our, our job one is to give you the best tattoo and information is king in that so the more info we can get from you the better we can schedule you give you what you want have enough time so we're not rushed you're not rushed and everything else so uh, if you have any questions at all pertaining to anything um, uh, refer to our website we've got tons of info on there uh, skinkitchen.com bunch of videos a bunch of all that stuff so uh, more info than you really need so uh, grab a coffee sit down watch a bunch of stuff um, on there or check out our YouTube channel uh, or call us uh, we're always uh, we're always here as long as the hours say we are so uh, yeah we can't wait to see you and do some tattoos and I hope you guys have a great weekend bye welcome creeps to another episode of what the fuck are we doing at skin kitchen tattoo uh, my tattoo of the week is uh, a fun one I did on a lady and uh, some black work uh, lotus kind of a lotus flower shape in there and uh, we kind of whipped uh, whipped some kind of purpley ish smoke in there to give a little bit of movement and uh, make it a little more fun to look at but uh, it took me a couple hours I think right around two hours to do it um, it was real fun uh, she had a lot of fun getting it and I had a lot of fun doing it and um, yeah, it was just, uh, it's just a neat one to do. I thought you guys would have fun looking at it. So anyway, um, isn't everyone having fun? It's a lot of fun. Anyways, uh, we are having our... Uh, I'm a little... I sound a little funny because I'm congested a bit, but I feel great. So anyway, uh, we're having our get-together at the end of August. Um, check the website for all the deets. We're going to have some foods and some giveaways and some, and some live music and all that good stuff. So make sure to check on that. And also check out our podcast for sure. Um, get signed up for that so you can get the audio of our Q&A in the kitchens if you don't have time to watch them. If you do, go to our YouTube channel, uh, Tattoo and Piercing channel. You can just search uh, Skin Kitchen Tattoo on there. Uh, but the channel is called Piercing and uh, Tattooing and Body Piercing, I think. It's, it's like, why Live was that? Piercing and tattooing. Live piercing? Body piercing and tattooing. Body piercing and tattooing, the producer just yelled at me. Uh, oh, just told me in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, yeah, come here and get tattooed. We like doing them and we do a pretty good job most of the time. And, um, and it's easier to keep 
this place running because then I can pay the bills. So anyway, um, I hope you liked the video and uh, give us a thumbs up and hit the bell and subscribe and love your neighbor. And we'll see you next time. Hello, crazy tattoo fans and crazy tattoo land. It's that time once again to look at a picture of a tattoo that I did and, and then click a button after you see it. It's pretty easy. Uh, anyway, it's a kind of a rework cover up kind of deal. Uh, he had uh, a former uh, tattoo on his chest that was kind of meh and wanted to uh, finish it off and kind of just clean it up, make it look as good as we could. So what I did is kind of used what he had and used a little uh, something of what he didn't had and uh, came up with this. We're not quite done. There's still some stuff I want to do in the uh, in the tube of paint squirting down there and all and some tightening up but uh we got some really good headway on it and i thought it was at least interesting enough to look at at this point uh but yeah it's uh, i think i worked on it four hours or so um he sat really well and i think it went really good uh so um hope you liked looking at it uh there's still i probably still maybe even have little nooks and crannies of time in july open so if you're wanting to sneak in or at least get in for a consult to get some ideas flowing uh now's a good time to do that you'll i've still got time to get in in this you know in the heart of the summer um but also remember if you're looking uh, if you're one of those collectors that likes to kind of wait towards the colder months to where you don't have to mess with the sun as much um it's not a bad idea to get the ball rolling now too uh to come in and kind of get those times for early fall because those will book up because there's a lot of you people like that out there and they kind of all hit at once. So remember that and uh, don't forget to check out the website. We're always adding new content and stuff. Our podcast with our Q&A in the kitchen is really awesome and fun. It's a neat way to kind of keep informed and uh, listen to us chit chat while you're driving in the car or something to kill time or sitting at work. But anyway, I've rambled on enough. I hope you enjoyed the video this week and we will see you for the next one. Hello, tattoo creeps out there in tattooy creepy land. It's that time once again to look at a tattoo I did. And uh, it's on an arm of two hands. So I guess he has four hands now, which could be handy. And I'm dinging and pinging everywhere. It's kind of fun. Anyways, uh, it's tattoo of uh, on a grandfather to kind of represent his, um, his grandchildren uh, on his forearm there. Did it in black and gray. Uh, design I just uh, sketched up for his request. Uh, took uh, probably about two hours, maybe right around there, two two and a half hours. Um, so yeah, it went went real smooth. He's a guy I've tattooed several times before. He's a really good client, and uh, just had a good time doing it. Um, let's see. I don't know if there's really much else to say other than it was just neat to do and how often you get to do like a little baby hand fist bump in another hand. I thought it was kind of neat to look at. So uh, we might end up adding on to it a little bit. We kind of left the foliage around it a bit open so we could uh, just keep that thing growing if, if need be. And uh, anyway, hope you liked looking at it. Again, if you've got any ideas, let us see them and we'd love to bring them to reality. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy your weekend and we will see you in the kitchen.